Get my cutter, get my torch Pour a beverage and I step out on the porch Grab a cigar, I love that view I guess it's time for another Poolside Cigar Review <laughs> How you doing everybody? Welcome back to another edition of Poolside Cigar Reviews with Kurt. Today I'm reviewing a famous Smoke.com exclusive. This is the Baptiste by Oliva. It's a box press Toro, 5.5 by 54. I never know how they measure box press cigars. I don't know if they measure them before they're pressed or after. But, you know, the Oliva uh, Master Blends 3 is also... Um, their Double Robusta was a 54 and their Toro is a 54. I think their Toro is a 54. Um, it just doesn't seem like a 54. To me, a 54 is a pretty big ring gauge. Been a good draw. Um, but to me, like, th this feels nice in the hand. I don't mind the Oliva 54. Again, so some manufacturers, some companies, it's just not always entirely uniform. And this, this one, uh, I just got in the mail last week. So it hasn't rested a long time, but it's been in my humidor and it was vacuum packed. It, it seems like it's ready to smoke. Love the draw. Up the first light. Good cocoa. Higher side of medium. Nice sweet tobacco coming in. Definitely cocoa and sweetness. Pretty complex. A little bit of baker spices in there. Long, long finish, full body, but clean off the first light. It's got an Ecuadorian Habano wrapper. And I dig it. Hopefully I got a lid all the way. The smoke's fairly heavy on the tongue. I like it, um, and, and it's it, this is a beautiful cigar. So I'm uh, kind of excited to dig into this. You know, a lot of times these, uh, you know, this is a four dollar cigar, and uh, and it's an, it's a famous smoke exclusive. So sometimes like the online only, although famous smoke does have a uh, uh, physical locations, they've got B and M's you can go to. But sometimes those ex budget exclusives aren't always the best looking cigars. But this is gorgeous. I don't know. How they can construct such a nice looking cigar for four dollars. I mean, it really screams quality. But uh, that's been my experience with Oliva. So, I'll, uh, I'll keep smoking on this. That finish really goes a long way. Um, yeah, a lot of chocolate, sweet tobacco, a little baker spice. Let's, try, let's, let's retro hail. savory through the nose. Not too spicy at all. Alright. Well, I'll keep smoking on this and I'll, uh, I'll let you know how it progresses. So hang out, guys, and I'll see you in a minute. It's about 25 minutes in now. About halfway done. Ash came off nicely. I actually uh, knocked the ash off earlier, but it's holding tight. Burns a little slanted, but it's following the roll lines, which, you know, sometimes when the wrapper's a little thicker, that just happens. I'm not worried about it. I haven't touched it up. But to this point, I am thoroughly enjoying this cigar. It's burning kind of quickly, but again, it just doesn't feel like a 54, and for a Toro, it's only five and a half inches, so that's really, you know, usually your Robustos are five inches, your Toros are six. This is a bit in between the two. But, um, you know, I don't always mind a faster burning cigar. Because usually, uh, I tend to stick to like Robustos, Coronas, 
petite Coronas. You know, that, that's really my wheelhouse. So I don't mind this burning a little faster. Uh, but the 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 flavor profile is, has stayed pretty consistent. It does have some leather coming in. I don't retrohale cigars a lot, but this is a cigar that I really am enjoying the retrohale. And, uh, because it's got, like, some leather and some savory notes in the retrohale, and it's not overly spicy. I really don't like... I don't retrohale a lot because I don't like burning my nose. Um, but this is really smooth through the retrohale. Now, uh, my only complaint is that the smoke is kind of thin and wispy. To get a really good draw on it, I do have to double puff it, but it's not that big of a deal. And that could also be contributing to the to burning faster. But the smoke is nice and cool, flavorful. They list this as full bodied. It's not full bodied. I wouldn't call it. You know, full. This is a, a full bodied cigar smoker. Would would not uh, would not be floored, you know, by by the amount of flavor here. That being said, there is flavor, and it's delicious. This is a really great tasting cigar. Um, just not full bodied, you know. I'm and I'm digging it. I've I've been smoking a lot of Connecticut's lately. I've been smoking some of the milder stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, as a medium bodied cigar, this is this is really flavorful, and I'm really digging it. And I'm pairing it right now with uh, a Four Peaks Sun Brew. Kolsch style ale. So this is nice uh, Arizona beer from Four Peaks. So I'm happy. I'll check back in at the end, give you my final thoughts on this uh, Baptiste by Oliva, and uh, we'll wrap her up. Hang out, guys. So about an hour in now. I'm starting to nub it out. Like I thought, the burn corrected itself. I never had to touch it up. You know, um, of any company, I think Oliva has the most consistent construction. Oliva makes great cigars. I rarely have a bad burn. And that makes me think, actually, like in the last few years, I don't, I don't even remember the last time that I had a cigar that was like plugged. And not just Oliva. I think overall, the whole industry, construction just continues to get better and better. I don't know if it's that they're using draw machines or what it is you know, for draw testing, but um, overall, maybe I'm just smoking better cigars. I don't know, but uh, but I have very few like plugged cigars or cigars that are so tight they're not smokable or you know cigars that have a knot in them something like that. It's not an issue, and certainly not with this. It's perfect burn. It still kept that medium body. Maybe kicked up a little bit in the back half. A little bit of pepper came in the back half, but not too much. Um, a little bit, a little bit of pepper, and a little bit of earth came in the back half. Overall, tremendously enjoyable cigar. I mean, of all the, I, I smoke a decent amount of budget sticks, and uh, and this this is really high up there. Um, you can get these for like four bucks on FamousSmoke.com. They can get five packs for about twenty. You can get a box for about I don't know seventy-seven, something like that. And uh, they are running a deal right now that if you buy a box, you get uh, a sampler of 12 Oliva cigars. And so there's like some Oliva stuff, there's some Cane stuff, um, and then there's some Famous Smoke exclusive stuff. You get like the Inferno and the Inferno Third Degree and then something else. But you know, all of which I've smoked and all of which are good. Um, so that's a pretty good deal. You know, you can go on right now and get 32 Oliva cigars for $77. That's a steal. That's a steal. So, uh, you know, that's just a little over two bucks a stick. That's a, that's a killer value. So, again, I don't get, I don't get paid from FamousSmoke.com. They send me cigars from time to time. But, uh, you know, when I see a good deal, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know. And that, that's a really good deal. Um, if my humidors weren't totally full right now, I'd probably buy it myself. But, uh, you know, this, is this a box-worthy cigar? For me, I think it is. I mean, it's, this is a really good cigar. And at that price, like, if you can get... These for two bucks, all day long, man. Um, so, definitely recommend the Baptiste. You know the the Baptiste. The name, <coughs> this information is on the Famous Smoke website, but the name comes from. Uh, it's a really obscure reference. I don't know why they did this, but it's from 
the 2005 um, uh, Nick Cage movie, Lord of War. Jean Baptiste was the name of the like bad warlord guy in Liberia. Um, not a very savory character. I, I doesn't really, I don't know. It doesn't really appeal to me. But uh, but it's a good cigar nonetheless. I, I I don't know why they gave it that name. That just it seems like such a weird reference. You know, it's a 11 year old movie that was moderately successful at the time. It's certainly not like a cult classic or even just a regular classic. It's a good movie. If you haven't seen it, watch it. It's a good movie. But uh, what a weird reference and, and what an unsavory character. So, weird. Don't know why they did that. But I like the cigar. So, name aside, great cigar. Thanks a lot to FamousMode.com and Corey at Famous Mode for sending this out. I really do appreciate it. If you have a chance to get your hands on one, I do recommend it. This is a good cigar. So, um, anyway, guys, thanks for hanging out with me on this hot Arizona day. You know, this is a great cigar with a beer. Uh, I think I think you could pair this with scotch. You could pair it with with uh, with a red wine. It's it's got enough to it that I think it'll stand up with just about anything. So, good cigar, and not so heavy that you couldn't even enjoy it with like a light beer. I think this is just a great all around medium body cigar. Um, you could give this to a new smoker. You could give it to an experienced smoker. I think they'd all like it. So. I'll leave you with that, and until next time, everybody, keep your feet in the pool, a drink in your hand, and a cigar in your mouth. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good one.